<laughs> Jeff Hardwick, the owner, pit master, and spiritual guide at Purgatory right. Provisions is here to give us a taste of the great food you're going to find Saturday morning there at the KSAT Corral. Thank you. Appreciate you all having us on. <laughs> the looks, the aroma is just <laughs> killing us right now. So what are we going to be making here? You're going to be doing some real difficult cowboy cooking. You're going to make an old-timey peach cobbler. In the Dutch oven. In the Dutch oven. Old-timey. Old timey, mm -hmm. yes. Let's get off into it. Let's start out with the peaches. All right. All this in here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then you're going to turn around and put the topping on there. This topping is um, flour, sugar, a little bit of lemon juice, a little uh -huh. bit of vanilla, a little bit of milk. Oh, keep it and simple, just, yeah. It's very simple. It's, well, it's difficult cooking now. All nice basic ingredients. That's right, that basic could, ingredients. That you could have kept in the back of a chuck wagon, basically. Now you're right? going to spread this all around. Okay. Just right on top? Right on top. So what all are you going to be cooking at the Ksat Corral? At the Ksat Corral, we're going to start off with an old cowboy breakfast, the biscuits and gravy with sausage and eggs like everybody's expecting. but. Nowadays at a at a cowboy uh, event, you 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 have a big old fat taco, Ooh, yeah. sausage, egg, potatoes cooked with uh, onions, okay. and all this goes on here. And this yeah, is and this is this is a topping that goes okay. on all of it. Ooh. Yes, sir. All right. Spread it around. Okay. All right, let's... And then we're going to finish it off with three quarters of a cup of boiling water. All righty, and just spread, just that spread it over the topping. So is this what makes a good cowboy breakfast? This is breakfast? what makes it, this, is, this will make it. Just a good peach cobbler. And you put the top on, and this is All a 10-inch right. Dutch oven, so it's going to take 14 coals on the top, 7 on the bottom. So it, you would put this in the fire, and, and you actually have to count out the number of coals on there? Yes. Just regular charcoal briquettes, regular right? Regular charcoal briquettes, okay. or you use uh, the wood embers. All right, and this And then you... Better. How long will that go for? This will go for 40 minutes. Let me show you the old Indian trick. These things are already ready to go. <laughs> and that's what it's going to look like when it's, oh when it's finished. Look at how good that looks. I you don't even want to. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what the topping does. See what the, oh, the topping it kind of crystallizes yes, on top of there. Look at that. Oh, quit looking at it. I'm, I'm it sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 and while she's off. serving okay. that up. What do we have here? These look absolutely these delicious. Are, these are pork wings. This is the reason that pigs don't fly. We, we <laughs> flip their wings early. Um, they're actually a pork shank. It, my mm -hmm. grandson calls them a, a pork popsicle. Yeah. Very popular. Uh, the other, that's our jalapeno poppers. That's uh, chopped armadillo and sauerkraut this, this time. Uh, no, seriously, it's, uh, it's uh, hamburger, sausage, cream cheese, jalapeno cheese, and chopped onions wrapped in bacon. And it's smoked over a... Pecan smoke. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Is that the jalapeno popper that you ate? I'm on the, I'm on it, the cobbler it's, and it's, it's amazing. So, so this is just a sampling of what will be just at the breakfast. Just a sample of what, what else will be there? Yes. And we'll have, uh, we'll also have Wally Welch, uh, an actor that's been in all four Lonesome Doves. We'll also have Tommy Worrell, who's one of the last remaining cast members from the 1960 movie John Wayne's uh, The Alamo. Oh, really? He was in it. Yes. Okay. And now, for, for a big event like the Ksat Corral, how, what time do you have to get up to start cooking all this? Pretty early. Pretty early, but that, that's nothing. I'm, okay. Uh, Chuck Wigan Cook's always up early. Somebody's got to get the coffee ready. All right. This we'll is have, so good. We'll have cowboy coffee that uh, you'll probably see a horseshoe floating in. <laughs> and, 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 and you won this award. Right. We got our own little spice blends that we, we never could find what we wanted, so we started making our own, and, and uh, they became very popular. And with that chili blend over there, we won the Lukenbach Chili Cook-Off in 2017. Where can somebody get that? Online, purgatoryprovisions.com. And if you want some of these great recipes, you're in the process of putting out we're, a cookbook, right? We're in the process of a cookbook. It's going to be called Hill Country Comfort Foods. Um, all old-time recipes. Uh, no kale. No lettuce. <laughs> nothing healthy. Just good old-fashioned comfort food. What would be your favorite... Food that's you know you cook mm -hmm. out on the on the trail or over the open fire. What's your favorite thing? Probably the wild game I cook. I do a lot of wild game, and based on what it is, what you have to work with in the available wood, you you can do a lot. Okay. With different flavors. All right. Well, if you like more information on purgatory provisions, by the way, everything is just mm. delicious. Mm -hmm. Go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
Mm, my mouth's full. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to introduce you to the newest edition. Mm, by the oh, way, you oh, can still get oh, tickets. Yeah. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You can still get tickets to the KSAT Corral. It opens at 9 a.m. on Saturday at the Pavilion by Hilton. Jeff and his chuck wagon, of course, will be there providing breakfast. And there will also be music, vendors, and even a mechanical bull. Ooh, for the adventurous ones. Okay, you can get your tickets. Just go to ksat.com. And after okay. you start shaking his hand for cooking mm -hmm. all the food, you're going to meet a lot of KSAT folks who are going to be there as well. Mm 